<sighs> G'day, hi, and welcome. All right, I'm at Moss's place. About to leave. Seems like it's 7 o'clock at night, but it's not like 1.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Get close to winter time. Let's see how this works out again. Maybe a quick picture. Uh, got a bit of a sad video for you guys today. Uh, not because uh, anything majorly bad happened, but I was cleaning out the boss's shed and uh, getting all the planters and everything. And in a pail, I found a little mouse. And he didn't look too good. I thought maybe, just maybe, if I try to revive him, maybe he'll make it. And uh, this thing always sounds like it. This thing goes down to like 500 RPM every time you uh, put it in gear. It just idles so low. Uh, but anyway. Ah. And there we go. The light's on my, uh, on my uh, gear selector don't work so I don't know I usually don't know which gear I'm in uh, but anyway uh, yeah so I grabbed a little mouse and I kind of like pressed it on his back nice and lightly I dropped a couple of drops of water on his nose but uh, I tried for about five minutes while I was doing other stuff but I just couldn't get the mouse to come back he was a goner so little mouse I salute you so he'll probably I left him out somewhere so he could be food for something else. So with death comes life. You know what I mean? Alright, whoops. Oh yeah, don't hit the trees. Don't hit the trees. I played this game before. I will get it. What? I will eventually someday get this all sorted out. And uh Yeah. We'll try that. That's how it was supposed to be done. So anyway, yeah, like I said, little mouse didn't make it, so Mr. Mouse, I salute you. Uh, but a good day. I got lots done. I didn't, uh, still not done with the raised beds. That's going to take me, it's going to be nine in total. So that's going to take me a long time to shovel all, all that manure into it. But I got the goat pens cleaned out. I got the boss's, uh, I guess, tool shed, garden shed. Pick your verbiage. Ugh, a dusty. I got all the hay out of there like that. That took me longer than I thought. Patched up some holes so the squirrels that were getting into the feed, chicken feed and stuff like that. Although the chickens, uh, they're still there, but they're supposed to either go today, tomorrow, the next day. Um, the, um, ah, don't think it's going to stay, but anyway. Uh, the, uh, the, there's a couple of holes in the walls where the, the hydro, the hydro comes in. And that's where the little, uh, the little, uh, I gotta fix this once and for all. The little bugger heads come in, and uh, yeah, I'll get off to the side here. And uh, they come in and they do their thing, and they creep, you know, they make a big freaking disastrous mess everywhere, right? So, because of that, I wonder if this is work. No, that's not gonna work. Uh, so, w what happens is that uh, I had to seal it up, right? So, I sealed it up, and uh, you know, sealed up good. I try that again. And if it falls down, eh. Uh, so I sealed it up the best I could. And um, yeah, we're going to find out who the better squirrel is me or Mr. Squirrel. Let the games begin. So, but yeah, it was a little cool this morning. Uh, definitely uh, getting close to November. So. But, uh, yeah, once again, uh, I'll be working Monday, so that's good. So I've got two days this week, and i got Monday pretty much for sure, unless something uh, drastic changes. But then he, him and his wife are taking off to uh, Spain and Portugal for, uh, like, two weeks. So I'll be out of work for two weeks at least. So if I get two days again next week, that might, it'll just, I'll break even, you know, like, uh, if I could get two days a week, I get ahead. But if I get uh, one day a week, uh, I don't get ahead. But either way, when they come back, it's kind of like we are kind of racing for time here a little bit because once the snow starts coming, it's one of those things that is like there's no snow, there's no snow, and then it all just then uh, the job's done. Like there's nothing I can do for them. Well, the raise beds anyway. There might be other things to do, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I have a hunch you'll probably get me to uh, like shovel the driveway and stuff like that. 
just to keep me busy. But uh, you know, there's not a lot. lot well, it's hard to say. It depends what you want to shovel, right? So I don't know if there's six hours a day there of shoveling. But that stuff, that, that stuff's hard, man. Uh, I'm telling you, all this shoveling that I'm doing, uh, it's hard stuff. And if the ground freezes, you know, you can't shovel. And uh, yeah, it is, it is a lot of hard work. It's honest work, but it's hard work. He pays well, so that's good. But um, yeah, you know, as you get older, it gets harder doing these things too. Uh, but anyway, yeah, good day though, nice and sunny. Uh, too bad about the little mouse. But those squirrels, the little munch face, buggerhead thieves, didn't go to hell. They, they were, yeah, they were breaking into the building, being total hooligans, stealing all that stuff. Yeah. But anyway, that's the way it goes. Um, yeah, tomorrow's jam night, so that should be fun. Um, I'm a little under practiced. Because, well, I work two days this week, so I, you know, I get home, I'm going to be cooking supper pretty much when I get home, a little after. I uh, definitely want to get showered up, I'm all full of dust. Uh, want to see if I can squeeze a practice in today, practice in tomorrow. i got a couple of songs picked out, and I got the electric fiddle, and I want to, want to put on something really, really good display with the electric fiddle. So, what I'm hoping is... Um, tomorrow night there it uh, goes really good I'm hoping that I'm going to get a, a paying gig there soon I've already kind of worked out the deal with the, the owner that yeah they're interested in uh, getting me but it's they're, they're booked up pretty far probably right into January maybe uh, so hopefully I'll get squeezed in there at some point uh, but at some point if I can make enough money I, I want to hit another jam night I guess I should stay on my side of the road yeah uh, but I want to hit another jam night at uh, Baseline Station. I used to play there. Never got to play a full show there. but uh, Or maybe I did. I don't remember. Maybe I did. I don't know. But anyway, I, I used to really like that place because... Uh, it's it just it, it's a very it's, they have a jam night every week and stuff like that. I remember I went one night and the guy that was going to go up on stage after me, I, I, he's like, God, "Dude, I can't follow your act." So I'm not saying I'm the pastor or like that, but it was like he was too intimidated after for, to go up after I went up and you know did what I did. Uh, and, and it's like, uh, you know, okay, that was kind of cool, you know, that, that's flattering, you know. But I'm like, oh, I don't care, you know. It's like, uh, go up whatever uh, this place is different like I mean it, it, you know the, the the cafe 1870 it's all musicians in there you know and artists and stuff like that so the bar is set pretty high it's not your normal jam night like, where everybody's like you know you always get a few people that's the first time ever playing live um, in front of a crowd and they always play like you know patience take it easy uh, stuff like that uh, not that those are bad songs by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just when you hear the uh, you know the person playing, when you hear the song four times in one night, you know, and it's the first time somebody's playing that song, you know what I mean? Like it's sometimes they do really well, sometimes they don't, right? Um, last week was really fun. I was up there. I don't know how many songs I did last week. Probably eight songs, maybe. <laughs> Excuse me. And, um, yeah, there was hardly anybody in the bar, but also last week was the 17th when uh, I played. And up here in Canada, they legalized marijuana, so I think all the, the, the potheads were sitting at a stop sign waiting for it to turn green or something. Uh, that or they're at home, stoned on the couch, passed out on the stone, passed out on the couch, or full from the munches, right? And, uh, either way, uh, yeah, there was hardly anybody out last night. I don't think there was a hockey game last night, or last time, but we'll see. I mean, the weather was a little bit cooler, but it was bizarre. Usually the place was packed, but it was still a good crowd. It was just it was a little bit smaller. And I was probably a little bit too raunchy for the size of the crowd, but... Uh, Check out the blind corner. It's one of those corners there, but like you look, you look, and it's like oh, there's nobody coming, but it's a bit of a blind corner. You got to kind of sit and stare at it for a second or two before uh, 
you take off because a lot of tractor trailers, a lot of people have been hit at that corner, so. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you get these driveways that come out or the, these roads come out right on a cor curve like that. So strategically, perfectly illy planned, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, so tomorrow night should be a lot of fun. Um, I probably will do uh, a trip to Renfrew this week. Um, to a bunch of, I want to get the oil spray for this. Uh, I need to do a few other things while I'm up there. I needed to get uh, enough money ahead to be able to do it. Um, on my other channel, I just want to uh, put a big thank you on my other channel there. Uh, some of you guys have given some really fantastic donations uh, this month at the making of this video. And again, that support is really appreciated. So I, I thought I'd thank you guys again here because I know some of you guys follow here too. But that said, uh, yeah, I, I got a few things I'd like to do to this. Mainly maintain it. So oil spray is kind of like first on the list before the winter really gets here. The, the salt on the roads and all that. Uh, the other thing I like to do is winter tires, but that's like 500 bucks for winter tires. Uh, somebody burning, burning leaves? Right, right beside the bush, too. Uh, that, that, that looks like a good idea. Oh, so we're going to go Ha, got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah. I do that to everybody. Uh, I didn't see my nephew out today. I seen him out yesterday. I think he's got a cold again. Yeah, I'm coming down with a cold. I don't know if I got a cold or if I'm just stuffed up from all the, the dust from the hay and stuff. I don't have allergies or really like that, but when you're around that much dust, you don't have to have allergies to be all clogged up. <laughs> like you're ganging out dust for about two days. All good. All good. The sun's nice and warm right now. Entering my little town. So yeah, I gotta get winter tires for this thing. It's about 500 bucks. I wanna do an oil change, flush the rag. I'm not going to touch the tranny fluid. I uh, would like to get new spark plugs just because. Um, Got to fix that hitch. Oil spray, like I say. Uh, body work. I'm not really going to do body work on this thing. It's, I just, I, I don't know. I, I just don't see the, uh, if it's going to work for me or not. Somebody walking on the gas can. never good when you see somebody walking with a gas can. Oh, there's my great uncle. It's better that I go before he does because he takes forever. He's 96, 97 years old. Still driving, probably shouldn't be, but anyway, uh, I'm at the store now. I'm gonna get some provisions, go home. I'm gonna make some sandwich for tonight. And, uh, oh, look, look at that on the camera, eh? It's like, uh, what kind of, you're getting rainbows and everything. No charge. No charge. So anyway, there we go. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? I guess that's about it. Yeah, so anyway, you guys have yourselves a great day. Eh? And let's pray for that poor little mouse. But curse those blasted squirrels. We're going to find out who's the better, smarter squirrel, me or them. If they can get by my security system, let the games begin. All right, have yourselves a great day. Eh?